As of recording this, on the 21st of March, there's a new update on the alpha server that now relates to mining. In today's video, we're going to go over everything you need to know and everything that was added in this update. First, what we can see is by looking at tab, I'm now level 446, which, if you didn't know, the old cap used to be 430. Meaning that as of current, you can get up to 17 levels, as I haven't fully completed the update. Before going into this, I would quickly want to ask you guys to subscribe to our channel. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers, and every sub goes a long way. Okay, on to the guide now. To start off, when you log on to Alpha, you want to be in the hub next to Centauri. Some things you might notice if you looked around is that Heart of the Mountain will not go up to level 10 and there's a lot of new perks. So what I would recommend is go to Centauri, go to the toy box and max out your Heart of the Mountain and get a ton of powder. Probably in the range of like 60 million, so redeem this like 30-ish times. Speaking of powder, if you again look in the Heart of the Mountain tree, there's now Glacite Powder, which we'll go over in a second. Past that, if you look inside the featured update items, you're gonna of course probably get yourself Devon Armor along with the Devon Drill if you don't have that already. The first three items in here already exist, but you might need them for some Forge upgrades. Next we have the Suspicious Scrap which will also be used in just a second, along with three keys being the Skeleton, Tungsten, and Umber Key. Reading the lore, we could see they could be used to unlock frozen corpses and glacial mine shafts, which we'll go over just in a second, as I said. So how do you start this update? Well, all you need to do is go into the Dwarven Mines, and if you're familiar, you just need to go over to the King's Palace. Once you enter the King's Palace, you just need to go to the right, and you'll see a guy sitting in the chair right here. And he'll ask for some type of key, which if you go to the Forge and go over into the item casting area, you will see a new item called the Secret Road Pass. This item isn't too hard to craft, but once you do, you need to forge it and give it to him. Now, once you do give him the pass, he'll give you another item, which this token item will be used all the way inside the Ice Walker area, a bit to the left and to the, to the rail system guy. Here, you could give him the pass, and just for 200 coins, you could take a trip into the Dwarven Base Camp Glacite Tunnels. From here, there's a few NPCs to talk to, like Dolan, or also Plinus over here. But instantly, I'd recommend going into this little hut here and talking to Dr. Stone. She'll go over a few things called fossils and as well give you a chisel. Fossils aren't too hard to get but very tedious, I'll go over that in a second. But just to be known, there are 8 fossils that you could currently get and they will have a future use, just not an alpha. If you talk to the NPC, you'll get to the point of seeing the fossil guide. The way that this works is first you need to find a glacial mineshaft which will show off in a second. In the mineshaft whenever mining, you'll be able to stumble upon a suspicious scrap whenever you just mine an ore. Which, using the suspicious scrap, you could go over here inside the fossil research center to the fossil excavator. Because we're on alpha, I was able to get this from the NPC, and just to show off how it works, Going over here, you need to put in one of the scraps as long as you chisel, and you'll be able to start it. This is similar to the experiment table where all you need to do is click around the dirt, try to find stuff. For example, we're finding new gemstones, tungsten, and whatever. And after your few clicks, you'll be able to close out of it and get your rewards. And yes, there are new gemstones, which we could see inside the hex menu. The first one being a citrin, which gives you foraging fortune. You have Perfect Aquamarine, which gives you Sea Creature Chance. You have Perfect Onyx, which gives you Crit Chance. And finally, you have Peridot, which gives you Farming Fortune. So, let's get to unlocking mine shafts. Straight from the entrance, you could walk into really any side, it doesn't really matter. And once you're in, you'll start to realize on the side of your screen, you'll have Cold. Cold is pretty similar to like how it is in the Dwarven Mines with Heat. Once you reach a certain amount of cold, you'll freeze and you'll be kicked out of the mines. If you don't want to freeze to that, simply you can just go back to the spawn area where the big campfire is and hug it and the cold will go away instantly, no matter how much cold you have. Inside the mines here, we could go. one of the main things you'll see is Glacite, which mining it of course, you'll unlock a new collection, which I think I'll take the time to just quickly go over everything in these collections. Some of these items as well are coming soon, so we don't have an idea on what those are, but going through it, we'll see things like Enchanted Glacite, there are a few fa one farming fortune buffs, the forge recipe for Glacite Amagamation, the forge recipe for Frigid Husk, which is the Glacial Reforge for the pickaxe, which gives mining speed and mining fortune, along with mining fortune for every one cold you have. And finally, a Glacite Golem Pet, which again, we can't see yet. Moving on, we have Tungsten, which first you get the Chisel, which it doesn't really matter as you could get it from the NPC, but I guess in case you lost it, Here's the recipe, which is in the forge. You can make a cold resistance potion, which is when drinking it, you just get five cold resistance. At level five, you get refined tungsten. Level seven, you get the tungsten key. And level nine, you get the tungsten plate. Finally, we have the umber collection, which has the umber dice, 
enchanted umber, refined umber, the umber key, and finally the umber plate. To quickly show you what these look like inside the glacite tunnels, this of course the big ice pillar counts for glacite, the cobblestone on the wall counts for tungsten, and finally if you see like this clay on the wall this will count for umber. Oh this didn't, I was not expecting this to happen, but you can see in chat I got a glacite mineshaft, and you'll see a little portal which all you need to do is click on and you'll enter. And it's an instant area similar to dungeons, and I guess it's a perfect time to go over this. First of all, this whole place is mineable, meaning that you could go all the way to any border just mining the hardstone. This mineshaft has a lot of the stuff that you're used to, such as mithril, there's titanium around the walls, and of course as I mentioned hardstone, along with gemstones like amber here. Jumping down the mineshaft, you'll see some new mobs, and these are also a new bestiary. Killing them right here, and I'll quickly look at my bestiary. All these different mobs are grouped into one bestiary that caps out of 4k mobs. And all of them have the same loot, which is just gemstones, a glacite jewel, and a glacite shard if you're lucky. You can see up here I found another one which just gives similar stuff. Now normally there are a few other player models that for whatever reason I couldn't find in this mineshaft, but they give similar loot just like glacite powder, some gemstones, etc. But once you do kill all the mobs and also get all the frozen bodies, you just need to simply leave which can either be done by going up through the mineshaft or just slash hopping. Either works. Okay, but what is glacite powder? Similar to mithril and gemstone powder, it's just another type of powder used in the Heart of the Mountain to upgrade perks from level 8 to 10. And quickly, I'll just go over each perk. First, in tier 8, you have Keen Eye, which gives... which whenever you enter Glacial Mineshaft, one of the hardstone blocks will be highlighted, giving you 250 powder. Warm Seated, which at a level 10 gives you 10 cold resistance. Dust Collector, which gives you 2% fossil dust per level up from all sources. Daily Grind, which gives you extra powder for your first commission. Strong Arm, which gives you more mining speed on Tungsten and Umber. No Stone Unturned, which increases your chances of finding a suspicious scrap while mining in the Glacial Mineshaft. And Mineshaft Mayhem, which is similar to Sky Mall, which just gives you a random buff each day. You have Surveyor, which gives you a higher chance to find a Glacial Mineshaft when mining in the tunnels. You have Sub-Zero Mining, which gives you mining fortune when, when mining Glacite. You have Eager Adventure, which gives you mining speed while inside the mineshafts. And finally, for level 10, you have Gemstone Infusion, which increases the effectiveness of every gemstone in your pickaxe by 50%. You have Gift of Departed, which gives you 20% chance to get an extra item while looting the frozen corpses. Frozen Solid, which gives you 2 times glacite powder while killing mobs in the tunnels and mineshafts. Hungry for More, which gives you 50% more chance to find an additional frozen corpse inside the mineshaft. Excavator, which gives you a higher chance to find a fossil while using the scraps. Rags to Riches, gives you just more mining fortune in the mineshafts. And finally, Hazard Miner, which gives you just more mining speed near each enemy, which is useful inside the mineshaft, I assume. And there are a few forged things that weren't mentioned in the recipes either. For example, for example, inside Refined Ore, we can see a few things like the Refined Tungsten or Umber that we mentioned before, and their plate variants, along with the Glacite Algamation, recipe to craft all four of the new perfect gemstones, and finally the perfect plate. So what are the new items you may ask? Well first we have the chisel as I mentioned before, the two keys to unlock frozen corpses, the frigid husk as I mentioned before, we have the secret rare world pass as before, we have new equipment for mining, being the Dwarven Hand Warmers and the Divens Pendulum, which if you need to look at the stats, you can pause the video here. Next, there are three chisels along with the based one, being the Reinforced Chisel, the Glacite Chisel, and the Perfect Chisel. The difference between these is the charges, as long as the fact that you can put gemstones in them. Next, we have the Tungsten Keychain, the Portable Campfire, the Dwarven Metal Talisman, and finally the Skeleton Key, which can be used to outclass these two other keys from before and can just open any of the locks. And finally, the Relic of Power, which is the upgrade to the Artifact of Power, and you can put all the new gemstones in now. Mentioning the chisel, let's quickly go back to the fossil area. Firstly, the gemstones have a little bit of a different use than what they are on, like, for example, farming tools, which you could put them on. Going inside the excavator, we could see that... Aquamarine gives higher chance to get an additional chisel charge. The Peridot gemstone gives more fossil dust. Citrine giving... A highlighted piece of treasure and then finally onyx gives you an additional piece of treasure as an example i was able to find a fossil the way this works to uncover it around the dirt is that the fossil is fully connected and it's kind of just praying and hoping that you're able to fully connect it which thankfully here i was able to do if i close out of the menu now i'll get an ugly fossil which i could hand over to dr stone 
and it'll give me the same reward for each time you give in a new fossil, along with 10 Skyblock XP. Thankfully, these fossils aren't completely useless, and looking at the forum post, we can see that they'll actually be able to turn into pets eventually, just not in this current version of Alpha. But yeah, that's honestly pretty much it for this update. There isn't a lot to this update, at least yet, and hopefully they will add more, like when they add the pets, for example. But right now, it just kind of, kind of seems like filler mining content, just making some things maybe a little easier to get, along with just giving us more Skyblock XP. That's pretty much it. See ya.